names like Osterine, Rad 140, and others. Please read the advisory. They're prohibited in sport. It's actually a dietary supplement warning about a group of drugs that we're finding in a lot of dietary supplements known as SARMs. Who the fuck is this guy? What is up guys, it's your boy here, Jersey Flex, back with another video. If you're new to this channel, go down, hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being faithful to this channel. In today's video, as you guys know by the title of this video, we're going to be discussing Osterine, MK2866, a selective androgen receptor modulator, also known as a SARM. Very commonly used, probably the, the SARM that we know the most about through clinical studies. We're going to be discussing a little bit about dosage, a little bit about the history, a little bit about what it does, and all those great things. So make sure you watch this whole video because we're going to be covering a lot about Osterine. Before we get started in this video, I'm going to ask that you guys go down, hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned to all the content that I'm posting, as well as introducing our sponsor. HTLT supplements if you guys are looking for some quality supplements that are trusted by me that I personally approve and say that they work because I use them <laughs> They definitely work. I've noticed great workouts with our pre-workout line as well as great muscular recovery from our whey protein and Awesome results from the fat burner as well, but you guys can go check the link in the description and browse all their products now we're gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna get this video started. We're gonna roll that intro. And this is probably one of the videos that I've been requested the most to create about SARMs. It's on me that I waited until now, but we're gonna roll that intro and get this video started, guys. So go down, crush that subscribe button, and boom. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's a start of where it ends. I know. So probably where I want to start off right out the gate from mentioning uh, Osterine. Many of you guys are probably clicking on this video either because you want to learn a little bit more about the compound or you're personally considering taking it yourself. As you saw by that medical disclaimer that I just blooped onto the screen, I'm not your doctor, I'm not your healthcare provider, I'm nobody and anybody to tell you to take anything. Anything you do is at your own risk especially for recreational purposes without a prescription, as these compounds are only discussed for entertainment only. So probably the first thing I have to say about Osterine is it has a very good healing factor to it, which may be the reason why some people may take it with and alongside an actual anabolic steroid. Our second thing to note before we get into all the joint benefit properties that this anabolic compound or receptor modulator does contain is noting the fact that it has a tremendous safety protocol. As you guys might know from watching my previous videos, um, SARMs were generally developed in terms of replacing TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, and the reason why is because testosterone itself has no oral bioavailability. You know, in other words, it can only be injected intramuscular, whereas SARMs have oral bioavailability, you can take it in the mouth. Or in other words, you can take it in dropper form or capsule form, which is more appealing for a patient in a medical practice to adhere to. So in other words, you can basically take it in the damn mouth. So that's what makes SARM so appealing when used in testosterone replacement therapy, as well as avoiding androgenic side effects. <clears throat> Whereas I believe testosterone is two to one, so you have those nasty um, side effects. So that being said, uh, the bodybuilding doses for Osterine are much more than those that were used in clinical practice. In clinical practice, they were used at about three to five milligrams, whereas the recreational or bodybuilding dose for a man 
is typically 25 milligrams a day and some knuckleheads out there will even push 50 milligrams a day. So just to put it in perspective that uh, Osterine, you know, the results that come from cl clinical studies can't really be compared to the results used in athletic performance because the doses are just way different. Um, so one thing to also duly note is the liver toxicity. Uh, I believe there was a study done with 10 different patients taking three milligrams a day. Nine out of those patients noticed no liver toxicity, but one of them did notice liver toxicity and the liver toxicity, the elevation in liver enzymes went away immediately after he stopped dosing the Osterine. And that was only with three milligrams. So for all the gym bros out there that are claiming that there's no liver toxicity, that's false because when you're taking 25 milligrams a day, you know, it's more likely that you're going to have an elevation in liver enzymes just due to the fact that it's going through your liver because you got to remember this is an oral compound. It's not water soluble and it becomes water soluble by going through the liver. It's just a process that can't be avoided. So do note that if you're considering this and you may have underlying liver issues or you're just concerned about overall liver health. So that is something to duly note. How long? I mean, how long should you take this compound? That's another question that may get asked. Similar to many other orals, this compound should not be taken longer than eight to 12 weeks, two to three months to put that in perspective. Um, I personally never really do an oral longer than like four weeks, like a one month period because you know, just knowing that it hits the liver, that's just a major turnoff to me. And it's something that I do try and avoid, but you know, you still want the benefits of taking these orals. So I always keep the duration and the dose very low. That's just me personally, but it can be ran up to eight to 12 weeks, just to put that into perspective for you guys. One thing that makes this compound or drug, cause essentially these are drugs. They're not really compounds. They're not supplements that you can purchase legally. One thing that you do have to note about this compound is that there's no aromatization. It's not an androgen. You're not going to get androgenic side effects. Uh, you will experience mild to no suppression depending on the duration that you run it for and also the dose. So that is also something to keep in mind. But if you remember a little bit earlier in the video, I did mention that this was designed for testosterone replacement therapy. Well, testosterone itself does something very critical for the male body. Um, it aromatizes. So some of that testosterone uh, becomes estrogen and estrogen is needed in the body in order to carry out vital functions. It's important for joint health. It's important for a lot of different things in your body. So no estrogen is just as bad as having too much estrogen. So what basically happens is this compound eventually will shut you down. You will need a PCT, a post cycle therapy, but being that it shuts down your natural testosterone production, you now have no testosterone to convert into estrogen. And this is basically, you know, dominating the anabolic activity in your body and you have the issue of no estrogen. So that can be a considerable factor to, you know, think about when you're taking Osterine. But now let's discuss some of the performance enhancing capabilities of this compound because that's what you really care about. You really clicked on this video because you want to be a handsome, incredibly juiced out gorilla on the beach and you want all the female attention on the planet. Or you're just an athlete that wants to look good for a bodybuilding show or a photo shoot or whatever it may be. You want to look your best is the bottom line. So what is the athletic performance capabilities of this compound? Think about it like this. With anabolic steroids, you're going to get a lot of harsh side effects. With this, you're going to get minimal to no side effects. And with steroids, you're, you have the ability to put on 10 to 15 pounds of muscle within a one to two month period. With this, you're going to put on about five pounds of muscle weight in the duration of two to three months. So, but the difference is a lot of that muscle weight that you put on from steroids, it involves water weight and it's kind of like sloppy muscle. You put on the muscle real quick. 
Whereas these five pounds of muscle that would come from Austrian is more quality muscle. It's better to have quality muscle that you put over a duration of time because that muscle is going to stay with you longer and it's going to look more natural. It's not going to just look like some mass monster bull crap. You're going to look more aesthetic in that respect. Whereas like with steroids, you just turn into a mass monster. And when you get off of them, you generally lose about half of that weight because water weight retention goes down. You just lose all that mass. You know, you might hang on to some of it, but it's more quick, but it doesn't look as quality as what Osterine would do. And in that respect, I also do want to discuss the joint healing properties that it has. There are many, many forums on Reddit, uh, many places online where you could go about people reviewing the healing capabilities of Osterine where they had joint pain. And this is a tremendous, tremendous compound for helping with joint pain for people who like to lift heavy. Uh, so it's commonly stacked with an actual anabolic for a power lifter or someone looking to do strength exercises or trains in high volume for that respect. Osterine is also a great compound to be used uh, also for cutting because it may not get rid of fat the way that like GW or clan or you know increase your caloric expenditure but GW will keep the fat off. So as you're losing, you know, fat, it's going to ensure that you stay that way. And also it's going to preserve your lean muscle tissue because one thing that Osterine does is it enhances protein anabolic synthesis. So you're going to be able to build more muscle, but you're also going to prevent muscle wasting. So you're not going to be losing muscle while you're getting shredded. That is one of the awesome things about Osterine as well is that you get to stay lean while keeping your muscle. So it's a huge benefit factor in that respect. Also speaking about muscle wasting, it kind of goes back to the original reason why Osterine was developed. Osterine was developed for cancer patients. It was originally developed as a safe alternative to testosterone replacement therapy. So cancer patients would be able to avoid those androgenic side effects from testosterone while still be able to maintain a good level of bone density, also recover their bone density and maintain their muscle, their muscle weight. So in that respect, it can also help you build muscle and increase bone density, which in return makes you more jacked and prevents you from losing muscle and makes you stronger. So it will do that, but not on the same level steroids would but steroids have a greater side effect, which is what you guys have to remember. The bigger the result, generally, the bigger the side effect. So is it safer? Yes. What are you gonna get less side effects? Yes. It kind of all just depends on that risk to reward ratio in your mind. Are you willing to potentially get these harsh side effects to get the reward? It, it, it all comes down to like a personal decision. You know, but that's generally what it is with Osterine. And on that note, this basically kind of brings the video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a lot about Osterine. If there's anything that you guys feel that I may have left out in this video, please leave that down in the comments below. I can answer you personally. I also always leave in the description my Instagram if you guys feel like DMing me directly as well. But go down, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned to this channel as we're posting tons of bodybuilding and fitness content if that's what you guys are into. So stay subscribed, stay tuned guys, and until next time, you already know, it's your boy Jersey Flex, you heard me? Boom! No!